Hey guys, it's Renee. Today I wanted to share with you another dessert with chocolate and a fruit. In this case, I'm going to be working with pomegranate. I previously made one with uh, chocolate and strawberries, which I'm going to link below. So you can check it out after this one. But for this one, we're going to be needing dark chocolate. And I chose dark chocolate because that's the one that I like the most. If you want, if you prefer, you can always work with milk chocolate, white chocolate, whatever you prefer. I'm going to be using one pomegranate a knife to open the pomegranate. I'm going to be using mini cupcake tray and wrappers. This is because I want the um, kind of miniature version of it, but if you want, you can always like say it's optional so you can, you know, use the standard size of cupcakes. Spoon, toothpick, a Ziploc bag and some scissors. To start, I'm going to open my pomegranate and then I'm going to be using or I'm going to be pouring in the whole thing in this orange container. And in here, I'm going to just be cleaning the whole thing, removing all the excess of water and just removing the white stuff that my pomegranate has when you open it. And I'm going to be using this stainer just to help, you know, remove the excess of liquid. Probably should use something here for the video, but if it works, why not? And once I got rid of the most um, of the water, I'm just going to divide this into two sections i'm using a smaller plate and a bigger plate because those are the pretty much the ones that i found in the kitchen and then i'm just going to work with my chocolate i did temper my chocolate not just melted it i just followed the instructions that comes on the back of my package i did use a thermometer a kitchen thermometer for this to just be more accurate with the temperature it has and everything and then i'm simply going to just kind of mix have my pomegranate would have my dark chocolate which is melted by now you kind of have to go fast because since you're kind of adding water to the chocolate mixture the consistency is going to change is going to turn into much stiffer as you can see the consistency is changing right there and then i'm going to be picking my cupcake tray and i'm going to be putting all my cupcake wrappers the cupcake wrappers themselves don't have to be like super cute or anything we're going to be removing them anyways this is just so the chocolate grabs that figure or the shape and then i'm going to go in with first my spoon picking some of that mixture and then going to pour that in those tiny spaces and i'm being helped with my finger by the way it's clean everything is clean and i'm going to go with some water actually room temperature water and i'm going to dab it on my finger and just put some water on the top so everything goes smoother as so and that's it for the first idea and I'm going to pour my chocolate onto my Ziploc bag. This is going to be helping me for the next step. And in there, I'm going to put, you know, a tiny amount of that chocolate. And I'm going to be helped with my toothpick to just kind of uh, spare the whole thing. Then I'm going to grab my spoon and I'm going to place my pomegranate on them. You can add as many as you want. It all depends on how much fruit you want to have in the like filling of your chocolate. So this is it for me. And I kept on doing the same thing pretty much. And once I have them that, have a bunch of them, I'm just going to go with my Ziploc bag again and go and just seal the whole thing with more chocolate and then the toothpick. It doesn't go like all the way to the top. I mean, it's optional pretty much. If you want like have um, a lot of filling in there, just add more pomegranate and then the chocolate is going to be near the edge of your wrapper depends pretty much on your taste and what you're looking for and then the whole tray goes to the freezer until the chocolate hardens i left mine for about one hour just to make extra sure like i said before we're going to be removing them from the cupcake wrappers it's optional if you want you can always leave them in there especially if you're going to take them somewhere else and you are afraid that the chocolate is going to melt it's you know safer in a way then i'm going to be using my ziploc bag my scissors and just I'm pretty much going to drizzle some chocolate on the top. This reminds me of, you know, the chocolate boxes that you can buy at the supermarket. Now, for the ones that have the, like the smoothest finish on them, which are the ones that only have the filling, 
I just wanted to make it like a zigzag motion. And for the other ones that are kind of more messy looking, I just wanted to make something messier. But as far as for the taste and uh, kind of review my own product, I have to say the ones on the left that look kind of messier are messier to eat. They kind of crumble a bit when you're trying to eat them. Still are tasty. And the other ones that are like smooth on top are kind of easier to just eat. And you're going to find out and that once you eat them are more crunchy. So I thought I would just let you know and let me know which uh, option you like the most, the first one or the second one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and give them a try. I'm pretty sure you're going to like them. Bye guys.